Have you always wondered what other things you could do on your computer? What other programs are on your computer? Well, there are probably lots of them, and you probably thought that you needed to go take a course in all those other programs that are on your computer, but you don't really know which ones are there. Well, you don't need to take a course. You do need to know what's on your computer, and it's easy. This session is going to cover that process. To begin, look for help on your computer. And when you find it, wander around. Be adventurous. Look for basic things. After years of using Windows XP, I bought a new computer recently with Windows 7 on it. So I have spent quite a bit of time recently doing exactly what I'm now going to show you. First thing you need to do is look for help. And to do that, you go to the Start Orb, or the Start Box, or wherever Start is on your computer. And if you don't find that right away, you can type, as I'm doing now, the Windows button on your keyboard. And that brings up the same thing. When you get there, look around and find Help. Click on it. Now, when I do that, I get a Hewlett Packard, or HP, I guess they call themselves nowadays, Help and Support window. Uh, I could go there. They have a lot of information. But I prefer to go to the basic Windows Help. That's up here in Browse Help. And if you don't find exactly that on your computer, just keep wandering around and see what pops up. It says learn about other support systems. This says uh, print. But what I want is to browse help. And the first thing you do is click there. And here is where you really start learning about what's on your computer. There are all sorts of subjects. There's getting started. There's uh, internet, going online and using the internet, the web. There are files, folders, and libraries. There's email. You can spend a lot of time reading here, and you should. You can have a look at each one, decide which ones are things you want to know more about right now, and sit down and study them. Let's just take one item in the contents as an example. Files, folders, and libraries. Within that subject, you have creating, opening, and saving. You really need to read quite a bit about that, especially saving a file. When you go there, it will tell you about what's the difference between save and save as. And it will tell you how to save your files so that you can find them again. You also want to understand how to open a file and a folder. And that's covered right here as well. These are basic processes that if you already know, you still will probably learn something. And if you aren't really grounded in these basic processes, here's the place to get that way. Now let's talk about a second way to learn things about your computer. And that is through Google. You can Google almost anything. You go to Google Search. And when you get there, you want to look up things that will help you learn about your computer. And one simple way is to type in Windows Help. And when you click on Windows Help and go to the search, you will find a lot of very helpful information. Now, you should be careful. Uh, this one right here is an ad. This one right here is an ad. And this one right here is an ad. You see that these things here are slightly uh, color-coded. 
and it says Ad rel ads related to Windows help. When you come down here, this is what the search world of Google really gives you. So that's where I would go. I would go to Windows help and how to in Microsoft Windows and it brings up a website put up by Microsoft about Windows and gives you options of what kind of help you may uh, want. You may be looking for Windows XP help. You may be looking for Windows 7 help. You may be looking for Windows Vista help depending on what you have. You might be looking for help on a particular browser program called Internet Explorer which is Microsoft's basic browser and you would find that here. When you click on any one of these, let's just take Windows 7 help and it'll go back and talk about installing Windows 7 um, and getting started, things that are new, find out how to get up and running with Windows 7, all sorts of places here to spend time reading and learning. Now I showed you how to get to this uh, this uh, Microsoft Windows help page from Google search but I often decide I need to know something while I'm doing something else like reading my email here. So I always have a Google box on my browser. I use Mozilla Firefox because I really like that browser and I uh, I use this box all the time. For example, supposing I want to save a file with a different name. So I type in here, how do I save a file with a, oh look, someone else has asked that question. How do I save a file with a new name? And I get some answers. Well, here's one from Stack Overflow about uh, a uh, a different a Vim program that doesn't apply. Here's one from eHow. I like eHow. eHow.com is a place where people ask how do I questions all the time. If you go there, you'll find a whole article on how to save a file with a different name. You read that and you will learn something. I guarantee it. eHow is a great place. As you can guess by the order in which I have <clears throat> gone through the last two general areas, looking for help in your computer and searching on Google, I find those the two most useful for me. However, you may find that going directly to Microsoft Windows support is most helpful to you. And to do that, You type Microsoft, 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 Windows support into Google search. You go down below the ads, the last ad is there, and you find Microsoft support. That is the general place to look for support for all things Microsoft or all things Windows. I mean it even concludes Skype. Microsoft bought Skype uh, about a year ago. If you go here to Windows support you will find Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, you will find all sorts of information about Microsoft Windows. I could walk you through some of this, but it's probably much more useful for you to go here and just click places. Look at solution centers. Look at uh, the way Microsoft organizes their help information. 
They do it by hardware. They do it by security. They do it by products, office products, more office products. You go down to ex individual Excel by year. You can go down here to Word by year, Word 2002, 3, 4, 7, 8, 10, etc. Finally, let's talk about programs that are on your computer and how to learn about them. There are all sorts of programs on your computer, some of which you installed, some of which came with your computer, and some of which you probably have no idea they are there. That's true for me, too. So how do you learn? Well, you go to Start and All Programs, and you wander around reading the help information about those programs. Here's how you do it. You go to the Start Orb, you click, and you come up, and it shows one of the options is All Programs. When you click on that, you get a list of the programs that are on your computer. These are pretty, most of them you probably know something about. Uh, the ones that are up at the top, individually shown. You come down here, and then you find a bunch of folders. There's a folder for accessories. There are all sorts of things in accessories, like calculator, and notepad, and paint. Uh, these are programs you should know something about, because they're basic programs that allow you to do things in your computer. Paint is a very good example. If I click on that, it opens, and I can draw, color, uh, change the size of pictures that you open in here. It's a very versatile program. And the way you learn about it is to find the Help menu. Now, this is the new system of, uh, of uh, Windows programs that do not have the File, Edit, Tools, Help drop-down menus there. They're spread hither and thither. Uh, copy, Cut, and Paste, for example, are here separately under Home. But over here at the right in all of these is a question mark, and that is where Help resides. So if you click on that, Windows Help and Support for Paint opens up and you can read about drawing lines, drawing different shapes, adding text, doing all the things that you can do with paint. Here is the general description of what it is. It's a feature in Windows 7 that you can use to create drawings on a blank drawing area or in existing pictures. It's a simple way to edit pictures or to just draw something that you want to use somewhere else. That's a very good example of how to use the HELP program to learn about a program in your computer. Let's look at some more places on this All Programs list. These are organized alphabetically, and most of them are programs that I have loaded on my computer. I have two versions of Camtasia, one of which is the, the one that I'm using right this minute to record this mini-seminar. Well, you come on down past uh, AOL and Camtasia, you come to a thing that's called Communication and Chat. That's not the name of a company that uh, makes a program. That's a generic description of things on your computer that uh, that this Windows 7 has decided to group under a category. Skype is the program that you can use to talk to people all over the world through the Internet. If you have a uh, microphone that you can attach to your computer, 
you can use that microphone and the speakers in your computer to make a telephone call, the equivalent of a telephone call. If you have a camera, a webcam in your computer, you can make it a video call. That's probably a, an area that you should check out. You go on down and here's something called coupons. Coupons.com, print coupons. I have no idea what that program is. I've never clicked on this before, but I'm going to right now. And hopefully something's going to open up. Oh, it's opening up on the internet. And it's going to provide me free printable coupons. Maybe that is of interest to you. You can clip each one of these coupons and print it, I think, and take it to the store and save 40 cents. Going down from coupons, you find games. You click on that folder and it opens a whole host of games. Everything from uh, Hearts to uh, Minesweeper to Solitaire. You close that folder and go on down some more and you find Maintenance. Create a system repair disk. Everyone should do that. A system repair disk can be used to boot your computer. It also contains Windows system recovery tools that can help you recover Windows from a serious error or restore your computer from a system image. Another thing under maintenance that you should spend some time on is backup and restore. And when I click on that, it takes me to an external hard drive that I purchased at Costco, which I'm using to back up my files every day automatically. And to learn about that, once again, I go to the Get Help, and it opens Windows Help and Support about backup and restore frequently asked questions. You should read here at length. To summarize, I've shown you how to get to some of the places where you should spend some time browsing. When you get there, read about basic things. Read about files. Read about copy and paste. Read about files and folders. Read about email. Read about security. Read about the internet. Read about your programs. This was titled, Everything You Ever Wanted to Know. Only you can decide what that is. Only you can decide how much time you want to spend learning about the things that are on your computer that you'd probably like to do if you just knew where they were, what they were, and how to do them. Well, now you do. Using the tools that I've laid out for you here, you can learn everything you ever wanted to know about the programs on your computer and the processes on your computer. But you need to decide when you're going to start, how long you're going to take to work on it, and what your ultimate goals are. Have fun!